You'll see. Ah. I mean, even that's stunning, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. This is good. Yes. It looks pretty. It does look pretty. It's a pretty game. It does look pretty. It's a pretty game. It's a pretty fucking Lovecraftian game. I assume I don't need to do anything here. It's just loading, right? I think it's just loading. I think it's just loading. I think it's doing its thing. Which is fine with me. I love how you came with the applause straight away. Yes, that's the best! Oh, 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 here we go. Okay, so, last bottle. Oh, it's so short. That's fine. I can deal with that. It's so short. It's way shorter than I thought. The Little Glass Bottle is a short 5-10 to ten minute adaptation of a story by Howard Phillips Lovecraft written when he was about 7 years old. No way! Original words and spelling have been kept. All profits from both DLCs are donated to humanitarian aid. Click for more information. Thank you for your support. Eve 2, there's something floating to the leeward. Oh! Oh yes, I remember you can look around, but you can't move. The speaker was a short, stockily built man whose name was William Jones. I know, they kept the original spelling, isn't that amazing? He was the captain of a small cat boat in which he and a party of men were sailing at the time the story opens. Hmm. What's that? Howard Phillips Lovecraft was born on August 20th, 1890, at 9am in Providence, Rhode Island. The exact date when the little glass bottle was, bottle was written is unknown. Young Howard probably penned it in 1896 or 1897. It was first published more than 20 years after his death, as part of the anthology The Shattered Room and Other Pieces, 1959. Lovecraft himself regarded the little glass bottle as a youthful attempt at a humorous story. H.P. Lovecraft to Reinhard Kellner in 16th of November 1916. Scans of the handwritten original can be viewed in the digital repository of the Brown University, Providence. You can read the discovered trivia immediately or go back to them later in the main menu. Turn off displaying trivia if you find the feature distracts you from the story. This can be changed any time in the options. No, I like, I like, I like trivia as we find it. I like, I like seeing the trivia as we find it. I think that's cool. Aye, aye, sir, answered John Towers, and the boat was brought to a standstill. All right. Captain Jones reached out his hand for the object, which he now discerned to be a glass bottle. Nothing but a rum flask that the men on the passing boat threw over, he said. But from an impulse of curiosity, he reached out for it. God, an eight-year-old wrote... How old was he? Eight? How old was he when he wrote this? Eight? Jesus Christ. It was a rum flask, and he was about to throw it away when he noticed a piece of paper in it. <gasps> what does it say? He pulled it out, and on it read the following. Seven or eight. Jesus. The vocabulary. January 1st, 1864. I am John Jones, who writes this letter. My ship is fast sinking with the treasure on board. I am where it is marked on the enclosed chart. 
Captain Jones turned the sheet over, and the other side was a chart. Australia! On the edge were written these words. Dotted lines represent course we took. Towers, said Captain Jones excitedly. Read this. Towers did as he was directed. I think it would pay to go, said Captain Jones. Do you? Just as you say, replied Towers. So good. We'll charter a schooner this very day, said the excited captain. All right, said Towers. Any trivia? Any trivia to be found? I am still alive. Any trivia? No, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm still alive, mid. So they hired a boat. I like trying to find all the trivia. Sometimes it's hidden. I don't want to find it. I should replay the main story at some point because it was so gorgeous and more people deserve to see it. It was beautiful. And started off governed by the dotted lines of the chart. Oh gosh. Aww. It's interesting because this DLC has a much more cartoony feel, but then if you consider that the story was written by a seven or eight year old, whereas the main story for Dagon, written by H.P. Lovecraft when he was older, has a much more like realistic grit to it, and I really love that. Thank you for the hydrate mid. I love that. I actually really enjoy that. Like, it's cartoony, but it's from the mind of a child, so it makes perfect sense, right? That's trivia. Fascination with science. H.P. Lovecraft learned to read at the age of four. No way! He quickly became interested in exact sciences, especially chemistry. As a nine-year-old, he even started publishing his own amateur magazine, The Scientific Gazette, and sometime later, the series The Chemistry. Around 1900, the future master of horror developed an interest in Antarctica and began writing, uh, tree, tree, what does that say? What does that say? Treatises. Treatises? On ex expeditions to the continent. This undoubtedly influenced one of his famous works. <gasps> Are the Mountains of Madness! Oh! I love the Mountains of Madness. Hi, Man of Missile! How you doing? Great to see you, buddy. Treatises, plural of treaty. Oh, do you know, I never knew that. I've learned something new today. Thank you, Mana. It's good to see you, my friend. As a 12-year-old, Lovecraft discovered astronomy, which he later considered his most moving experience. Realizing the immensity of the cosmos had a huge impact on his worldview and work, laying the foundations for the cosmic horror genre. The majesty of the concept of an expanding universe still makes me shudder in a unique manner. A Confession of Unfaith, 1922. Good to see me too. I'm glad, my darling. Allow me to tip my beanie your way. Oh, I'm glad you're well, Manor. Well, at least I hope you're well. Out of concern, how long will you be live? Um. Oh God, it's 11 o'clock already? Not long. I'm just going to finish this. I didn't even realize it was 11 o'clock. Wow. I normally finish now. This is my new beanie. Look. This is the beanie that Smooch has got me from Throne. 
for my wish list. Isn't it cute? I'm surprised to see you still streaming. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it was 11 o'clock. I've had so much fun. Oh my god, I've just had so much fun today. I, I, I genuinely thought you meant that you were streaming till 12. Oh, no, I, 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 did, I just didn't even know. Yeah, look how cool it is. I didn't even notice. This is only a 5 to 10 minute DLC, so we'll be done with it real quick. We'll be, we'll be done with it real quick. This won't take long. Uh. In four weeks, they reach <coughs> the place oh. we're directed. Oh, I've got hiccups. Help! I've got hiccups. Four weeks? That's so fast! Zoom, zoom! Zoom, zoom! I'm on the sea! I'm a pirate! No, we're not really. We're just traveling. And the divers went down. Your trivia? It's in there. Well, off you go. Is it an Amazon wish list? Yes. So my my throne. So throne is like a secure way for um, creators to make wish lists, and it was actually suggested to me multiple times that I make a wish list and I was like eh. people were like no go on and so I was like okay so I made it and 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 I put where do I find it if you scroll down underneath the stream my darling there's a link there's a bright panel it's like blue and pink I think and that takes you to my wish list some things on there are ridiculously expensive that's like, in an ideal world, if I had a sugar daddy, or glucose guardian. Don't worry about those. That's like in Vic's Wonderland. Good lord. But that's my wish list. And then Vamps got me my beanie. Ah. Oh, thank you, Ditto. Did you wait and got your link? Thank you, Ditto. Oh, wow. Whipple Van Buren Phillips, Lovecraft's grandfather, was a very important figure in his life, as the writer said himself. My beloved grandfather became the center of my universe. Van Buren Phillips introduced his grandson to various works of art he bought from his travels, exchanged letters with him, and helped him develop his passions. He largely replaced Lovecraft's dead father. Interestingly, he also cured him of his fear of the dark by encouraging him to walk through a series of dark rooms. Young Howard's grandfather was probably the only family member to tell Lovecraft um, improvised mystery tales, which undoubtedly influenced his later work. Gosh, I love those little trivia tidbits. I love that. No worries, Julie. I love the little tidbits you get. Other. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. And came up with an iron bottle. Yes, it is. It is free to use throne. Oh, that's the suit on the. I thought that was a dead body. Oof, that's just the suit on the ground. They found in it the following lines scribbled on a piece of brown paper. A 
<laughs> Someone buy me shit. <laughs> Just in shit. Third, 1880. Dear Searcher, excuse me for the practical joke I have played on you. Oh. But it serves you right to find nothing for your foolish act. Well, it does, said Captain Jones. Go on. However, I will defray your expenses to and from the place you found your bomb. I think it will be $250, so that amount you will find in an iron box. I know where you found the bottle, because I put this bottle here, and the iron box, and then found a good place to put the second bottle. Hoping the enclosed money will defray your expenses, some I close. Anonymous. Ah. There are a few puzzling elements in the little glass bottle. For example, the number, $25, which is $2,500, $250, which is not a typo in this amount. As this amount appears, sorry, in the text three times, it is not entirely clear why Lovecraft decided to write out the number this way and what he meant by it. While publishers and translators interpret it in various ways, in our opinion, he most likely meant $250. The map used in the game replicates the original version drawn by Lovecraft for the story. Did you notice that the land marked on it is signed as Australia? I did. A simple typo. Or maybe young Howard was already creating his own lands and unknown islands in his imagination. It is also puzzling that the dates in the letters in both bottles are almost 17 years apart. I'd like to kick his head off, said Captain Jones. Here, Diver, go and get the $250. Okie dokie. This seems like a very convoluted way to give someone their commission payment, does it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You mean throne? I play this game for the trivia alone, I really would. In a minute, the diver came up bearing an iron box. Da -da -da. Dumb. Inside it was found $250. It defrayed their expenses, but I hardly think that they will ever go to a mysterious place as directed by a mysterious bottle. I did notice it, and I thought it was quite strange at the time, and I'm actually really glad that they explained it. There we go. We hope you enjoyed this little trip into the world of Lovecraft's childhood. We would appreciate it if you took a moment to leave feedback and check out our other games and DLCs. I do, I really want to play the Eldritch Box, but not today. Not today, my darlings. I have to go.